sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> Yo, what's up, what's going on? You doing on the Big Man Rice Books Live in the building? One time for the one time count, cool count, quench. Hey man, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today, today's video is about infrequent flyers. Not frequent flyers, but infrequent flyers. So I'm gonna tell you guys some things that you guys should know when you're, when you're traveling. And pretty much I do have to remember a lot of times that people doesn't travel as much as I do so these are for the viewers that doesn't travel for much as I do so when you guys do get to travel I get to give you guys some tips on some stuff and one thing is is the luggage all right so a lot of times you have to pay an additional cost for of course a check-in bag who wants to pay that 25 35 or even sometimes 50 dollars depending on which airline that you travel to right so I'll tell you what, most of the time you got a carry-on bag, you got a personal and a carry-on. When you could have one of those, uh, what you call it, a back, a backpack, backpacker's backpack, that's cool. You got a little duffel bag, that's okay. Um, thing is like 22 by, maybe a 22 by 8, something like that, I think is the measurement. Um, those are good and you'll be good to go, so even a laptop case. You know, you get a lot of stuff into a small bag, and um, yeah. So just take note about if you're not gonna use, if you don't use it at home, you're not gonna use it in your trip. So that's tip number one. Uh, all right. So tip number two. Okay, so you're going on a trip. Guess what? You need a ticket, right? Well, we need some place to sit on after you purchase the ticket. So, most of the time, like, you know, you got business class, you got first class, you got this elite thing, you got economy class, economy extended, whatever the situation is. Usually, most, most seats are different priced, and they price depending on how much space they have, right? So, if you, if you got the big bucks, hey, go big time. Business class, first class. Just do it, especially on a long trip. That was a long trip to India. And as you're tall like me, I'm like, look, I'm a really tall guy, you know, 6'3". So a lot of times when you get an economy ticket, although it's the cheaper ticket, the seat is not the best thing, right? But here's what you do. You got about 24 hours. Some people allow you 48 hours, but you got 24 hours to check in, right? Um, some airlines allow you to check in at an earlier time, well, before that time, or they don't allow you to pick your ticket until you your um, seat until you check in so what you have to do is try to be one of the first ones to check in so that way you have the, you maximize the chances of getting a better seat here's the thing you got your two end seats which is let's just say this is the window this is the aisle you get a middle seat yes I've been stuck in middle seat a lot of time before and guess what the middle seat is usually the cheapest seat that you could get now the window seat because you got a great view of when you leave in is one of the not most expensive but it costs more than the middle than the, the middle seat then you have the aisle seat the aisle seat is one of those kind of tricky seats because you got long legs you can put your, your foot in the in the aisle but you gotta remember there's other passengers on the plane and they gotta walk back and forth so you gotta keep that in mind i actually like the aisle seat because depending on what time you fly or you might sit all the way in the back um a lot of people don't pass you so you get to kind of kick out like so i'm, I'm in the plane right now you just kind of you get to kick out your foot over here in the aisle, so that's cool. Just remember those couple of seats, and yes, some people might not be as thin as I am. Well, you might need one with a little extra space, not just for the front, but why? They have those options too also available, so hey, when you select the nose, and don't be afraid to ask. A lot of times, I actually like to wait to be one of the last person to check in. Well, when we're about to board the plane, to wait, because that's where you get to see what empty seats are on, and that way, you might get first class, you might get an exit row. Remember, exit row, you gotta be willing and able to, you know, open up the door when anything has happened, but that's tip number two. Here we go. Ah, man, that thing is a beast. Anyways, we're up to number three now. Number three, okay, you bought a ticket, but guess what? Plans change, and you not going on a trip no more, right? Well, a lot of times when you buy a ticket, it's non-refundable. Although, within the first 24 hours of purchasing the ticket, depending on the airline, sometimes it's 48 hours. 
but within the first 24 hours of your purchase ticket that's the time when you have a chance to get a refund so it's really good to have plans set in stone yes i know things happen yes that's just how life is right so things happen but within that first 24 hours that's the time that you have to change your um, ticket to a different date or get your money back if not oh gosh after that time you might have to pay 200 dollars 150 and then you might somehow have to pay the cost of the actual ticket for the other date just just know when you purchase that ticket hey if it's if it's set in stone it's set in stone things happen man within that first 24 hours try to change a ticket if not buku dollars <laughs>
for domestic flights they say get there by a thing check in by within an hour people like to go to the airport 45 minutes before guess what you still got to get through TSA you know I mean get through TSA um, pre-check or global entry then you just walk straight through you're good to go if you don't have that guess what two hours international they say three depending on what airport you travel from Miami Atlanta New York well JFK New York uh, New Jersey Philadelphia LAX Houston Chicago those big airports you could expect to be in that line especially in Atlanta I was in line for like two hours if you're gonna travel anywhere domestic flights I say two international depending on where you at sometime three and a half sometime four I mean the er early flights in, in the morning everybody's there afternoon flights not too much nighttime flights going international it's so much people man so all I gotta say give yourself enough time I mean time you traveling that day anyway so try not to cut it close because the last thing you want to do is miss a flight hey you missed a flight that's on your fault your fault not the airport fault your fault all right so it's your boy Ross folks live in the building one time for the one time can't cool can't crunch as I'm in here getting my soul on you know getting the soul a hey, getting ready to nice summer body everything good to go so I'm gonna catch you guys on the one time for the one time make sure to share it like it subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend your boy Rice books representing for the Virgin Island nice so nice now let me get some pull-ups